Sean of Song Fire. We're here with a special guest named Ann Edwards. Nice to meet you today. Nice to meet you too, Shauna. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Good, I'm doing good. good. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, uh, my name is Ann Edwards, and uh, I was born in London, England. I came over in 1967 with my parents. My father was a music teacher, and he got a job at the local high school called St. John High. So my family immigrated uh, in October of uh, 1967 to St. John, New Brunswick, where he worked. And when he was a teacher, he uh, did musicals at the high school. So when I was a little girl, around five or six, I used to go in the music. And my sister was in them as well, and my mother was actually helped my father. And uh, some of the musicals that I was in was Oklahoma, Brigadoon, Carousel, uh, Fiddler on the Roof, My Fair Lady, Annie Get Your Gun. And that's where I became very um, extroverted because I was uh, in theater and I was able to uh, express myself, and I think that's very important. So later on, when I went to school, I decided to go to university, fast forwarding, and I went to Dalhousie and I took my BA in English and political science and I did a radio broadcasting diploma and then I did a diploma in international business and marketing and then I decided to, to get a job on television. So I went back to St. John, New Brunswick where I grew up. I talked to the news director, Dave White, and he hired me on the spot. So I worked there for a couple of years. It was during the time that Alan Niger was uh, escaped. He had killed a nun and two priests on the Miramichi. So I would wake up every day in the morning and I would uh, hear another murder on the Miramichi. So it was a very exciting time to be a reporter. Um, I also covered uh, the uh, Point Le Pro where the uh, nuclear power plant, somebody had uh, put uh, radioactive material in the water. So I covered that. I, I grabbed the radio guy, went down to Point Le Pro, got the the mic, interviewed people coming out of the plant saying, did you, te did you test the water, did you taste the water, did you taste the water, and they would say yes or no, and, and then he went to court and I followed the proceedings, and, and the story went across Canada, so that was quite exciting. Um, after being, uh, uh, going to Dal, I decided that I would travel, and uh, I went uh, to Toronto to apply to um, Ryerson for radio, television, and broadcasting, and I met a, a, a guy on the train, and his name was Peter, and he continued to write to me. He was going to Forestry in Fredericton, and I was going back to Halifax from Toronto, and we corresponded back and forth, and then the next thing I knew, he moved in with me. I met him in April, moved in with me in September, and then we went to Europe for six months together. We traveled and hitchhiked and stayed in hostels, and we went to Italy, Australia, Austria, Germany, Belgium, France, Scotland, Ireland. Um, we saw the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Uh, we had lunch at the top. We went to the uh, uh, Eiffel Tower. Um, we saw camel wrestling in Turkey. We um, went to Florence and Venice and went to Germany. In Germany, I got kicked out of the Hofbar house for show, throwing coasters at the barmaid. They weren't very happy about this. They said, just let me finish my beer. The beer was this big. So I finished my beer and I, I was tossed out of the Hofbar house, but uh, that's another story in itself. And after traveling, um, I decided to apply to DeVry Institutes of Technology. I got the job. They didn't think I would work in, in, in Truro, and then they ended up in Toronto for two years, living in Toronto, driving along the 401, the QEW, and, and uh, working for DeVry, recruiting students, um, assistant regional manager for Eastern Canada. And I was doing very well. I was making $70,000 a year in 1993. So, um, having worked for DeVry, I decided uh, that it was time to travel. So I went to Australia, New Zealand, and Fiji for six weeks. I had $1,000 to spend every week. So I was able to get drunk. No. <laughs> anyway, we had a good time. Can you tell me uh, what was the best place that you visited on your travels? Oh, that's a tough question. That's a really tough question. I would have to say Turkey, the people, the food. Um, the camel wrestling that I mentioned, um, just the overall feeling. Greece was beautiful. Greece was another place that I really enjoyed. Paris was wonderful. 
it was it, it's all different all different cultures and different foods and different experiences it's very hard uh, that's a very hard question to answer I don't know them I know them right now they're classified as a nano and you are actually looking for a personal care worker can you tell me more about that well what I want to do is um, with the aging population now a lot of people are house bound and they have no one, no family or anything, and they can't get out. So it's a good opportunity to, to help people, uh, especially the seniors, because they have no teeth and they have no eyesight and they have no money. The government doesn't help them. So these people need assistance in our community, as well as people that are on or underemployed that don't have a lot of money. They would need our services as well, because sometimes people don't want to go on the bus all the time. So this is an opportunity to work within the framework of your community to help people to make sure that we're working together one person at a time in the community to make sure that they're a part of the community. And that's my goal with Annabelle's Personal Assistance Service. We'll be able to help people, seniors, on or underemployed. And I'm going to base the... the uh, service on the fact that whatever income that they make will determine what they pay for the service. So it's on based on, it's a fairness system, based on equality of, of earnings. That is very interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. I am very excited today. Uh, you want to know why I'm excited? Yeah. I am here with uh, a special guest. Thank you for the interview. It was, if anyone is interested, you yes. can come to www.stevetv.tk. The name of your show is Annabelle's and Anne Edwards Stories. And your personal experience. Bipolar experience. Bipolar experience.